Hey guys, and welcome to live Russian pronunciation. Today we will learn how to pronounce Russian prepositions that end with a vowel. If you are interested in the prepositions that end with a consonant, you may watch the video that I will put in the description. So let's get started. And we are starting with the preposition O, which means about. And interestingly, it never sounds like O. So let's look at the examples. Anas, anas, about us. In this case, the preposition o is close to the stressed syllable. That's why it sounds more like a. Anas. But when it's further from the stressed syllable, it will sound a little bit shorter. A tibia, a tibia. They sound a. A tibia, about you. Now let's compare. Anas, a tibia. Anas, a tibia. Mm -hmm. And in the third column, I will put words that start with the same letter that our preposition finishes with. But in this case, in the case of the preposition O, we don't have this kind of words because as soon as the word starts with O, we will use the preposition OB, which sounds like uh, for example, обосени, обосени, about autumn. Обосени sounds like ab, yeah? Now let's get to the preposition про, which also means about, but it's more colloquial. It's not used in official texts. Officially, о, about, and when people speak, they often say про. Let's uh, listen how it sounds. Про нас. Про нас, about us. Про нас, again, it's close to the stressed syllable, so it sounds like a. Про нас. When it's further from the stressed syllable, it sounds like this. Про тебя, про тебя. Let's compare. Про нас, про тебя. Про нас, про тебя. Про тебя, about you. You notice that prepositions are not stressed at all. The following word is stressed and the preposition is unstressed. What if a word starts with O? Про осень, про осень. Here, O is stressed in the word осень. That's why we say про осень. But if O wasn't stressed, it would sound like про а, про а. Uh, we will look at it afterwards. But so far we are getting to the preposition по, which is usually used with the dative case. And in my examples, it will, it will mean moving along, moving on some surface. For example, по морю, по морю, on the sea, по морю. You hear how I'm it, pronouncing it? По морю. Compare with по реке, по реке, по морю, по реке. In по реке, on the river, по sounds even shorter, по реке, по реке, по реке. If the word starts with о, it would sound like this. По озеру, по озеру, on the lake, по озеру. The preposition до which means until some time or next to something. До завтра, до завтра, until tomorrow. This is used when we want to say that we will see each other tomorrow, yeah? До завтра, so until tomorrow, pronounced like да, до завтра. If it's further from the stress, stress, listen. До свидания, до свидания, literally, until the next time when we see each other, because свидание literally means date. До свидания. Let's compare. До завтра. До свидания. До завтра. До свидания. Almost the same, but it never sounds like до. Mm -hmm. And when a word starts with о, and in this case it will be unstressed, so listen. До обеда. До обеда. До обеда. So, про осень, до обеда, like да, до обеда, before lunch, or until lunch. 
Now the preposition so. It's a version of the preposition s, which means with. When a word starts with s, we use the preposition so, or with words like со мной, со всеми, with me, with everyone. Yeah, we would also use so. But not in all the cases when a word starts with two consonants. For example, с правдой, with truth, we will still use the preposition с, not со. So try to memorize this word and remember that every time when it starts with um, с, uh, it will be со. For example, со страхом, with fear. So let's listen how it sounds. Со мной, со мной, with me. Со своим, со своим, со своим, it's like with his own or her own, something masculine, свой, yeah, someone's own, свой, со своим, for example, со своим другом, with my own friend, mm -hmm. or her own friend, or his own friend, со своим другом. And in this case, we also don't have an example when a word starts with uh, o, like so o, because we would use the preposition с, not so, с обедом, yeah, с осенью, с озером, with this preposition so and s are used with the instrumental case. Now we are getting to для. Для means for, and it interestingly sounds differently depending on the stress. So, для нас, for us, it still sounds like для. Для нас, для нас. But what about further from stress? Для меня, для меня, для меня. It sounds like дли. Because unstressed, я yeah, sounds like и normally, yeah? So, для меня, для меня, for me. Uh, для Яны, if a word starts with я. Для Яны, для Яны, for Яна. It's like double я. Для Яны, для Яны. Mm -hmm. Для is used with a genitive case. And около, I've decided to take a preposition to show you that when we have a long one with three syllables, the preposition will finally be stressed. For example, около will always sound like Окола, the first о, is stressed. Окола means about, for example, about some time. Около часа, about an hour. Окола is used with a genitive case. Около часа, около дороги, next to the road. So, около means next to, nearby, or about some time, yeah? Около озера, next to the lake. So you see, in all these cases, it's pronounced as около. Около часа, около дороги, около озера. So I hope it was helpful and now you will pronounce the prepositions in the more authentic way. We'll meet each other in live Russian pronunciation. See you!